we're going to find the cube root of this quadratic sword. Step number one, we're going to write down the given question and take the cube root. Step number two, we're going to consider the condition where this is not having a square root, but the second term is having a square root separated by a minus. In such a condition, our answer will be x minus the square root of y. And here, I will have my answer to be x minus the square root of y. Next, this cube root can be to the power of 1 over 3. This and this both are the same thing. Next, I will take this cube root to the other side and this cube root will become to the power of 3. This is same as expanding this 3 times. Next, we are going to simplify this by expanding the bracket by distribution. Next, x multiplied by x will give you x to the power of 2. x multiplied by minus the square root of y will give you minus x the square root of y. Next, minus the square root of y multiplied by x. We're going to have minus x multiplied by the square root of y. Next, minus times minus will give you plus. The square root of y multiply the square root of y will give you y. And here we have x minus the square root of y. Next, this is x squared minus x the square root of y minus x the square root of y will give you minus 2x the square root of y. This is plus y. And here I have x minus the square root of y. Next, x to the power of 2 will multiply x. We're going to have x to the power of 3. Next, x to the power of 2 multiply by minus the square root of y. We're going to have minus x squared multiply by the square root of y. Next, minus 2x multiply by the square root of y times x. We're going to have minus 2x squared, the square root of y. Next, minus 2x, the square root of y. Multiply by minus the square root of y. Minus, minus will give you plus. This is 2x. The square root of y, multiply the square root of y, will give you y. Next, y will multiply x. We're going to have xy or yx. Next, y will multiply minus the square root of y. And we're going to have minus y multiplied by the square root of y. Next, we're going to have x to the power of 3. This is 1x squared, the square root of y. And this is 2x squared, the square root of y. Minus this, minus 2 of this. We're going to have minus 3 of this, which is minus 3x squared, the square root of y. Next, this is xy and this is 1xy. 2xy plus 1xy. We're going to have plus 3xy. Next, we have minus y multiply by the square root of y. Next, this is the square root of y and this is the square root of y. We're going to factorize this. This has no square root and this has no square root. We're going to bring them together and we're going to have x to the power of 3 plus 3xy. This becomes minus, this is the square root of y 
that is common. I will open the bracket. This will become 3x squared plus y in a bracket. This multiplied by this. We're going to get this back. And this multiplied by this. We're going to get this back. Now we have an expression that we're going to use to compare our given question. I will transfer this to here and I will have x to the power of 3 plus 3xy minus the square root of y in bracket 3x squared plus y closed bracket and here we have 37 minus 30 root 3. Next we are going to compare. We are going to compare 37 to this without a square root and we are going to call it equation 1. Next we are going to compare this with a square root to so this with a square root and we are going to call it equation 2. That is 37 will be equal to x to the power of 3 plus 3xy. I will call this equation 1. Next, we are going to have minus 30 root 3 is equal to minus the square root of y in bracket 3x squared plus y. We are going to call this equation 2. Equation 1 is a polynomial function and equation 2 is a quadratic function. Next, we are going to make an assumption that 3 is equal to y. However, this minus, we take away this minus on both sides. Next, y is equal to 3 by assumption. If y is equal to 3, that means 30 is equal to 3x squared plus y. And I will call this equation 3. Next, we are going to put y is equal to 3 into equation 3. And this will enable us to find x. Here, we are going to have that 30 is 3x squared plus instead of y, I will write 3. Next, this is 30 minus 3 is 3x squared. This is 27 is 3x squared. This 3 will move across to divide 27 and we are going to get 9. That is, x squared will be equal to 9. And x becomes the square root of 9. And here, we have that x is 3. We got x to be equal to 3 when y is equal to 3. Next, we are going to test this result of x and y in equation 3 and 1 to check if we are going to get 30 and 37. Next, this is 3 to the power of 3 plus 3. This will give you 3 and this will give you 3. This is 27 and this is 27. We are going to end up having 54 which is not equal to 37. Next, on this side, we are going to have 3, 3 to the power of 2 plus 3. This is 9 times 3 is 27 plus 3 will give us 30. This, we got 30, but here we didn't get 37. That means x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 3 is not accepted because 1 failed. And 
instead of 30 root 3 is equal to the square root of y 3x squared plus y we're going to have 2 times 15 multiplied by root 3 is the square root of y 3x squared plus y this is root 4 times 15 times root 3 is the square root of y 3x squared plus y next this is square root of 4 multiply by the square root of 3 we're going to have 15 root 12 and this is square root of y in bracket 3 x squared plus y next we are going to assume that y is equal to 12 next if y is equal to 12 on assumption that means this 15 will be equal to 3 x squared plus y we're going to call this equation 4 because this is equation 3 that was modified next we're going to put y is 12 into equation 4 and here is 15 is 3 x squared plus y this will enable us to find the value of our x this is 15 is 3 x squared plus our y is 12 15 minus 12 is 3 x squared and we can say that 3 x squared is 3 here x squared is 3 divided by 3 and here x is 1 because the square root of 1 will return 1 we have found that x is 1 when our y is 12 next we're going to check for accuracy in equation 1 and in equation 4 not equation 3 anymore and in equation 1 we have that 37 is x to the power of 3 plus 3 3 x y here we have 1 to the power of 3 plus 3 1 and 12 1 to the power of 3 is 1 3 times 1 is 3 times 12 is 36 36 plus 1 will give you 37 this is true and from equation 4 we have 15 is 3 x squared plus y this is 3 1 squared plus 12 3 plus 12 will give you 15 this is true and this is also true that means x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 12 is our true answers we're going to take this back to the beginning of the question which is this and our answer becomes x is 1 minus y is 12 but we can simplify the square root of 12 further and we're going to have 1 minus 2 root 3 and this becomes our answer i want to emphasize here that in cube roots of quadratic swords negatives are allowed and it doesn't matter which comes first 
the condition that A must be greater than or equal to B, which is a condition when dealing with the square root of binomial quadratic solve. That is, A must be greater than or equal to B, and A must not be less than 0, and B must not also be less than 0. This is true whenever we are dealing with second order swords. But for a third order sword or the cube root of a binomial quadratic sword, that condition is not necessary. If you remember that we can have the cube root of minus 8, which will return minus 2. Negative is allowed. But for square root, negative is not allowed. Or we might end up having a complex root, which at this stage we say it's undefined and has no solution. Hence, this is not allowed at this stage, but this is allowed. It is important to always remember this condition. And with this answer, this condition is not necessary. And this becomes our final answer. In conclusion, we started by the cube root of the given question and we took the cube root to the other side and it becomes to the power of 3. Next, we expanded the bracket and we simplify this to get this. Next, we brought back this simplified expansion. Next, we compared both sides. This without square root, we compared with this. We call it equation 1. This with square root, we compared it with this with square root and we got equation 2. Next, we made an assumption. We said let y be equal to 3 and we put this in equation 3 and we got that x is 3. Next, we tested for the accuracy of this result in equation 1 and equation 3. And when we did that, it failed. We modified equation and we got equation 4. Next, we made an assumption that y is now 12. And we put y equal to 12 in equation 4. And we got that x is 1. Now, we need to check again for the accuracy. This time around, we used equation 1 and equation 4 and we discover that we got x is 1 and y is 12 after we discovered that it is true and we took this came back to the given question to finally represent our answer i hope this was helpful